Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Friday, it's cocktail hour, and unfortunately, Cody couldn't be with us. He was feeling a little down. But I wanted to share um, this interesting cocktail with you. So uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and leave a little comment down for Cody to um, tell him to get well. It would mean a lot to him. Uh, we are going to look at not a cocktail that I make from scratch from different things that we have, but a box cocktail. Every once in a while we'll do a um, pre-made cocktail. Um, we've done some uh, pre-made old fashions, I think a couple of those now. Uh, I think we've done some canned cocktails, possibly. Uh, so let's continue that with another pre-made cocktail. This is one that my wife found and it actually comes in different um, varieties. I think they have um, uh, like a Manhattan and uh, gin and tonic and stuff like this. But this is called a boxtail. Uh, original boxtail from, let's see if I can get this name, Drake's. Drake's Original Boxtails. It's a craft cocktail on tap. So just like a boxed wine, which, you know, there's a lot of debate whether boxed wines are any good or not. I like boxed wines for just a simple drink or um, for cooking. I used to keep a boxed wine in my refrigerator for cooking all the time. Not so much anymore. I have a lot of bottled wine that I just open when I need it. But this is something you store in the refrigerator. It's the Mojito uh, box tail. Uh, minted mojito and it seems to be okay. We're gonna flip it around here. You have this little sport pour spout here and let's just give that a, a little chunk. Um, it's best to keep in the refrigerator so it's nice and cool. I don't know if it's actually required to uh, refrigerator after using um, because it is alcohol but probably with the amount of sugar and stuff probably needs to. Uh, it's not very discolored. It's quite clear. You'd think with mint, it'd be a little bit more um, hazy. Um, mojitos have a lot of lime in it, but this one's pretty clear. But it does smell like a mojito. Um, not very strong on the mint, but has that kind of essence to it. Has a good flavor to it, a little bit weak, but a good flavor. Um, no artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners. It is 12% ABV, so that's 24 proof. Quite um, low for a cocktail in this show, but uh, not too bad. I think what would be best with this. I mean, you can drink it straight. I think what'd be best is to use it in other aspects of a cocktail. Maybe you got some fruit up there and you wanna make a kind of a, a smoothie slushy cocktail. Add some fruit with this, it probably tastes really good. Uh, kick it up a notch with some vodka or use it as a base for a martini that's um, going to have a little bit extra gin or vodka in it. Eh, that might be a thing. Or, you know, you just want a low alcohol cocktail, just drink it as it is. Uh, my wife likes it. Um, she's not really going through it, but she said it wasn't bad. She was just interested in, I guess, the salesman that was promoting it. It was kind of like those distillers or retailers that were at a liquor store promoting their goods on a little table. Um, gave her a good talking and some samples and she walked away with it. So. I can't remember the actual cost. I think it was right around 15 bucks. Not too bad. I think I would rather have the homemade, you know, in the shaker and um, with the separate ingredients added. However, uh, this one's in a pinch will work, especially if you come home and you're just too tired to make the stuff and you have one of these in your refrigerator, you can just pour yourself a glass, you'll be fine. But with that being said, what do you think about these box tails or pre-made cocktails? What's your favorite one? Have you tried the Drake's uh, original box tails? Let us know what your thoughts on it, especially if it was the mint mojito. Uh, there are some other ones, so you can go online and look at them and see what they have. Uh, like I say, I think they had an old Man uh, Manhattan, maybe a Long Island or something. Um, but tell us what you think. 
Uh, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and our merchandise as well as TikTok. I do have a TikTok channel and sometimes I put some serious, you know, things about whiskey and sometimes just silly stuff. So check that out and make sure you leave a comment below. I'll wish and Cody uh, get well. And tomorrow is a um, first Saturday that we're going to have a special episode. Uh, we don't really throw Saturday episodes out, but tomorrow might be the first of many, many, many episodes as we increase to a second, or a, sorry, let me rephrase that, a sixth day of filming. Uh, so we'll see how that goes for a while, but check it out. Also, um, let us know how you felt about that beer one. So this past Wednesday, we did a beer uh, review. Make sure you do leave some comments on that so we know how you guys felt with that. Have a great Friday, a good weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow for a special episode and then on Monday for our normals. Cheers.